Hello everyone, welcome to the Drowcast. My name is Stormy Tea Time. Today I have a speed process of a comic, a Femme Seven Seal comic that I have uh, on Instagram and on Tumblr. Links to it will be below. This comic is called She Loves Me and it's about Femme Seven Seal in college and basically a relationship developing. But I did a poll on Instagram and my followers wanted to see a speed process of how I do the comic. These are obviously older pages, so there's no spoilers unless you're new to the comic, then I suggest you go read it right now before I spoil anything for you. But if you don't want to, that's cool, that's fine, you can go read it after or not, it's okay. So... Chapter 2 of this will be coming to an end in a couple of weeks, so I thought it was about time to do this uh, speed paint for it. These are in no particular order. The pages for this, I believe, are out of order. Um... Because I wanted to do sketching, lining, coloring, and I recorded different parts of each page, uh, not thinking about uh, placement as far as um, in order, but I am remembering how hard it was to draw this profile for some reason. It was, I couldn't figure it out, it was a different character (laughs) that She is based off of Jasper from Steven Universe because I recently got into Steven Universe around that time and for some reason I just could not draw the profile for it. But I did get it and I really like how she comes out in the end. If you want to see that, links in the description to my Tumblr and Instagram to go see the pages. I also wanted to try a different style with the hair. I don't know, Jasper's hair is like really fluffy, so I wanted to kind of include that in this since she was um, inspired by Jasper. So I tried that, and I think the final product doesn't look that bad. But I spend a lot of time trying to sketch this character out. And I don't even know how much of it was worth it because she's literally only in maybe two pages. That's it. But I'm kind of glad I did because um, drawing this for this comic has taught me a lot about female anatomy because I've drawn mostly female characters for this and I remember a time when I couldn't even draw a female character from shoulders up. I didn't know how boobs worked at all and that was difficult. Now going through this comic kind of helped me progress in drawing females a lot more. And I have tons of female OCs, so I thought that it was about high time that I learned how to actually draw their bodies. But in this part of the comic, they are at a gay bar, because I wanted to throw that in there. Um... And the girl who's inspired by Jasper is hitting on CL, and CL's kind of oblivious at this point that she likes girls, but she will know soon, very soon. Um, and we got a very obvious jealous female Sebastian. <laughs> and by the way, if you haven't read this comic, um, they all have the same names, the no names were changed. Um, 
just their body type switching to the next one and accepting seals is kind of the same as I usually draw him except with boobs and not a flatter chest but technically Fenciel has a semi-flat chest and this page is I believe it's after the sketch from the last page. It's, I think it's two or three pages after that. And then I think also the next part, the coloring is from a page that's before the sketching page that I had a process for. And Sometimes for the comic, I just do basic paneling because I'm still kind of learning how to do that. And sometimes I'll do three of the same panel, sort of the same panel, like for this one. It's three of the same, they're in the same position for each panel. And sometimes I do that because I don't want to be creative and think of something new but also I think it fits because all that all Eloise is doing is bringing them drinks so they don't really need to do much anyway I also struggled with this part of the chapter because I wanted to do backgrounds and I was practicing so hard on that but I watched a few videos about people making comics and they said that you don't always have to put a background in your comic. The main focus is the characters. You can add a background sometimes to give it a bit more depth, but it's not as important as the characters in that moment. So, I just stick with most of the time drawing the characters. And when I feel like I want to indulge myself in a background, I do that. Like this comic, pa the page here is just basically one panel, but not even a panel. It's just a full page of the three girls together, and they're all ready to get drinks and stuff. And I just thought this would be a cute panel to do. I've been doing, I've been struggling figuring out figuring out panel paneling. So I'm like, why don't I just do a group shot of them on one page? It might be kind of um, lackluster as an update itself, but I'm still learning, so... And I really liked this page, personally. And then here's another coloring page, and this page is actually before any of the older ones so you can see how out of order it is um, I'm just coloring everybody I try to keep all the colors the same as much as possible I get previous pages and color select from them sometimes I just get lazy and pick the closest and that's why sometimes the color is off. But sometimes you can be lazy, I guess. But most of the time I do color pick so all the colors are correct. But they do tend to shift throughout the comic. I think when I started this, I don't know if I color picked or not. So the colors might have been off at the beginning. And going through chapter two, I noticed uh, my style changes from, well, I don't know if my style particularly changes, but I've noticed since the first page, it's just a big difference. And I'm proud of that. 
links to all my social media will be in the description below. The links to the comic pages will be in the description below as well. And if you would like to support me, I do have a Patreon and a Ko-fi. Links will be down there as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.